Hi, I'm Emily McMorrin, and I thought perhaps I would tell a little bit about me before I go into what I'd like to share today. So I've been in business for 30 years. I initially was all finance based. I still have my finance company and I also have another company called Emily Jane's Healing Energetics, which does a myriad of different things. If you'd like to find more about that and more about me, please follow the link below. And um, these little videos are primarily just for me sharing what I feel is going on for me in my life at the moment and how they can actually perhaps help give comfort to all of us in this very unusual time that we're experiencing at present. So I was pondering this morning on the notion of two words. One is hope and the other is trust. And you think that maybe they're similar, but there is a different vibration with them. I always used to say, oh, I hope so. I hope that's going to be okay. And I always felt that when I said the word hope, there was a little bit of doubt that whatever it was I was hoping for might come to fruition. Whereas I found when I changed it to trust, it had a different, more solid vibration. Now, if we use the word trust and we just let go, we trust that all is going to be well. And that if we keep following our own path and keep following our own inner guidance and taking action where we feel it's best, hence me having the courage to start doing little videos again after four years, then we can really move forward. And so somebody then said to me a few years ago that with the, the word hope, the trouble with the hope is it actually falls through the hole of the O, whereas the U in trust catches that vibration. So I thought well, that's very interesting. So my friends do kind of get used to me that if I say hope, they kind of know that I've got a mm, not quite sure that's actually going to be okay. So where am I at the moment with where we are globally? I do trust that we're on the right path and the path to light, the path to enlightenment, the path to beautiful love, and which is known as ascension. This is ascending to us into heaven no, not really. It's more ascending into who we truly are. So it's being more in tune with our highest aspect, as I like to call it, rather than our lower ego element, which is really challenging. I find it challenging on a daily basis, depending on how I wake up and how I'm feeling each morning, because our ego is so strong and it really, really wants to be the boss. Yet, there's that other part of us, the witnessing self, so the part that I am aware of is where me talking at the moment. And there's also the part of you that is aware of you listening, stroke watching. That part of us is the eternal part of us that goes on forever and ever and ever and is our angel self. That's how I see it. So I thought that I would look up in a couple of my oracle cards. I do like oracle cards. I have rather a number because I do like lots of different things um, rather than just following one path. I'm very interested in a myriad of different subjects and modalities and doing things. That's just who I am. I'm a very creative person and I'm always seeking to find new information, learn new things, learn new wisdom. And one of the sets of cards that I bought some years ago are called the Angels of Atlantis cards. And these are really, really beautiful. And each card is depicted, as you may have gathered there on the front, by an orb, as opposed to um, an angel with wings sticking out, yeah? <laughs> and they were written by a lovely man called Stuart Pierce, And I have the corresponding book as well. And so I remembered that one of them in here was actually hope. So I thought, well, why not share that? Let's share what the angels of Atlantis have to say about hope. And it was actually Haniel. And it's really a beautiful depiction of this wonderful dove, dove of peace. And this wonderfully vibrant ruby red orb of Haniel. 
The Haniel is, is, I always feel Haniel, Archangel Haniel, I always feel she's very, very caring and she's quite often associated with this beautiful gentleness, the gentleness of the dove, yet in her core, it's very, very powerful. So what does Haniel's message have to say? She's known as the sacred warrior. When we feel deeply and are affected by, and in inverted commas, the thousand natural strands and shocks that flesh is heir to, heir to, sorry, I can't read this morning. I'll read that again. The thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. We may despair until the dove of peace enters our lives and once more lifts us to hope. If this is a moment of such challenge, reach out and the angels will carry you to this virtue by allowing you to observe a beautiful scene in nature or another soul filled with joy or success or even a child whose innocence lifts your spirits. Within this form, you will see a manifestation of the oracle like a dove allowing your spirit to fly in peace. Please repeat three times. Hope is the elixir of the divine. Hope is the elixir of the divine. Hope is the elixir of the divine. I love that. Hope is the elixir of the divine. Wow. <laughs> I make elixirs. Um, but the one was actually inspired by here was... Um, is my sacred love and that is really um came about because of the of Zafkael who is the archangel of sacred love in these beautiful um oracle cards and I was guided to make new special gem elixirs and gem elixirs uh, an elixir is a liquid that one takes internally. And a gem elixir is something where you take on the properties of the gemstone. Um, I was bringing another time about how you make a gem elixir. But suffice to say, there were very special ones which had to be used for the sacred love um, constellation, as I called them. Because there's an elixir which you take internally. Um, a healing cream which goes anywhere on your body and an energy spray so and I actually use that in, in conjunction with my clearance and protection spray whenever I'm doing a treatment for somebody or a quantum healing hypnosis technique session QHHT so I feel it's very important that we clear away and any energies from other people first and then bring in the sacred love vibration so that that person who you're treating is brought into a state of peace and I use them regularly for myself um, so I'm a very sensitive soul and can pick up negative energies quite easily really so that was hope I also have another book which is the Archangel Michael cards by the dear Doreen Virtue she, she wrote this quite some years ago she's I believe stopped writing books now she's gone in a different direction but this is one which <laughs> i have used a lot and it's called believe and trust and it's a beautiful beautiful card and each card comes with a prayer but i shall read the prayer at the end so archangel michael for those of you who may or may not know he is the archangel of the north and he protects from the north so he's in conjunction with the North Star, I always feel. And he is amazingly powerful and, a, and a, another warrior, actually. And he is in charge of all of the archangels. And he has a beautiful big sword and a wonderful dark midnight blue cloak of protection for us, as well as his shield. And he's there that if you are in a difficult situation, either with another person or just generally within yourself, he will help you cut the ties of anything which is negative. Um, 
between you and another person or a situation or just really around you and he will also always protect you and I always feel really protected because I always ask Archangel Michael to be with me and because I'm born on a Sunday um, you know my birthday was a Sunday my original obviously birthday <laughs> um, Archangel Michael is the Archangel of Sundays so that's really really nice anyway believe and trust what does he have to say about this to resolve any situation, you must believe that everything is healed and is whole right now. As your faith grows stronger, the doorway to divine solutions will open. Your trust enables your mind and body to relax, which increases your creative energy and strength. These are two qualities that will prove especially helpful to you. Possible specific meanings. Any situation you find yourself in right now will have a happy ending. Or outcome, actually. But Positive thinking will bring you your desired outcome more rapidly. Give worries to God and the angels. And trust any person that you're inquiring about that may be on your mind. And believe in yourself. So the prayer, Archangel Michael, thank you for entering my dreams and replacing any fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. Isn't that really beautiful? I think I'll read that again. Archangel Michael, thank you for entering my dreams and replacing fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. Um... I always feel much better when I when I tune in to Archangel Michael. And I just feel at the moment that these two messages are really, really important because it is trusting that there is going to be a positive outcome. No matter how difficult it seems at the moment, no matter how dark it may seem, no matter how it may seem that the control police are in charge, and that we are going down this dreadful path. It's believing there is, if enough of us are actually putting our attention on a positive outcome and that things can turn around and we can have our freedom, our sovereignty back and things can, I say, return to normal, be an, a new normal, but not the new normal that we are, this new normal that we're in a moment. No, absolutely no. It is saying we are safe. We are safe. 99.7% of people actually recover if they get this um, condition at the moment. 99.7% of people survive. The majority of people have no symptoms at all and are really, really fit and healthy. So I'm going to talk in the future about some tips about being in a good state of health and part of that which is so important which is why i'm sharing these is being in a state of health within so within when we we are ridding ourselves of fear of whatever it is whether it is what's going on or if it's something else in our life being in a state of trust okay and and hope but looking at the whole <laughs> with a star maybe it will put a star in the star of hope in this in the o and that will actually stop anything falling out and our hopes and desires coming to nothing so on that note i wish you well for the rest of your day thank you very much indeed for listening to me and if you wish to find out any more then i will put some um links in below so I decided to call myself the young lady in the chair because I'm forever young. Take care and thank you and great blessings. Namaste.